just think that you are feeling very excited today because today you are going to install your favorite android game in your android device and suddenly the not enough storage space warning pop up so in this case what are you going to do either you will try to remove your previous applications because your phone does not support move to sd card feature or you will try to remove your personal data from your internal storage this has now become a very major problem with our android devices because many devices are still having all only 8 to 16 gb of internal storage and due to this the not enough space is really annoying so to solve this problem i have a simple trick for you guys or you can say a feature which may be present in your android device and maybe you don't know so this is manshu from tech portal and without any further ado let's get started everybody sing that shit So now just head over to your settings and there you will find an option of storage. So just click on this and you will find your internal storage and your external SD card. So just tap on your external SD card and it will open in files or maybe here the three dots are showing. So just click there and you will find storage settings. So in storage settings you will find format as internal. Uh, before clicking on that first make sure that you backed up all of your data otherwise your uh, SD card data will be lost. So first make sure you backed up all of your data and after that just click on format as in internal and it will erase all of your data and it will make you the external SD card as your internal SD card and now you can easily move all of your personal data and your Android applications with the data to your external SD card and it will really uh, make a lot of space in your internal SD card and you will not get the uh, options of the warning pop-ups like not enough storage space because you are using a good uh, space of external SD card. So now you can click on move now or move later. Now next, so just move and it will take around the amount of data depending on how much data you are transferring to your external SD card. Now here you can see that the card is now ready. So now you have to just click on done. And now here you are seeing that Samsung SD card. It is 264 GB, but currently I'm using 32 GB. So it's really kind of good thing. So now maybe you guys are thinking that I am not getting that format as internal storage feature in my Android device. So now in this case what you can do is you, you can root your device or you can install your custom ROM because I have just installed a custom ROM because I am not getting that in format as internal feature in my J7 2015 variant as it has only 16 GB internal and I am not getting that much space as internal. So what I did is I just installed a custom ROM that is a AOSP base and in that I am getting the format as internal feature which will really helping me to move my internal storage data to my external storage. So this is really kind of amazing and if you are still facing problem with the custom ROM you can just root your device or you can use applications like folder mount and link to SD. These are applications which require root access. So after that you can easily move all of your application and the application data to your external storage without any problem. So guys that was a quick guide through which you can easily move all of your internal storage applications to your external storage. I hope this video will be helpful for you and if it did, a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. As always, I will see you next video. Thank you. Peace out.